you're watching Talking About Orcs. In this episode of Talking About Orcs, we're going to be talking about the knobs. Knobs are an elite choice, and they can also lead all your uh, boys troops and a couple other units. The basic stats of a knob are of weapon skill 4, strength 2, strength 4, 2 wounds, initiative 3. That's right, 2 wounds, and the all-important initiative 3. You can take them as a unit of between 3 and 10, and they come with a myriad of options. The e, short of it is, the knobs are the power unit of the Orc Codex. They are incredibly deadly, very resilient, and they will pretty much just wreck whatever they touch. So what makes the knobs so good? Well, first of all, they have access to a lot of options that really, really improve their effectiveness. Uh, the first option they can take is what's called a wall banner. The wall banner is carried by one of the knobs, and it gives the unit plus one weapon skill. So every unit, every model in the unit now has weapon skill 5. If you attach a war boss, the war boss has weapon skill 6. If you attach Gazgul, Gazgul bumps to weapon skill 7. So you'll be hitting almost everything on 3s, no matter what it is. Now, the other option that makes the knob very effective is you can upgrade one of the knobs to a pain boy. The pain boy has two functions. First, it gives the unit feel no pain. This includes any attached independent character just like the marine apothecary. In addition, when you take this pain boy, the mob now has the unit now has access to cyborg bodies for a mere five points per model. Uh, other options uh, you can take. Um, you can give each knob comes stock with Sluga and Choppa. You can give them a big Choppa. You can give them a Power Claw. You can give them uh, a Twin Link Shooter or a Combi Weapon. You can give them heavy armor and stick bombs. Other than the stick bombs and the cyborg bodies, all these options are purchased on a per model basis, not a per unit basis. So you can upgrade each, each orc individually. And that is where the cheese comes in. Wound allocation rules. If you are not familiar with the wound allocation rules, I would be happy to make a video on exactly how they work and exactly how the knobs exploit them to their max. Because the wound allocation rules are very important to the knob squad's effectiveness in 5th edition. So each model in the squad will have individual war gear. This is my unit of 10. Uh, the first one is the war banner, of course, which I consider an absolute mandatory option. If you're going to take knobs, uh, take the war banner. Just hitting on threes in and of itself is is incredible. This guy is equipped with Slugger, Chopper, and the war banner. And he also has a boss pull sometimes, too. Uh, this is just your basic Slugger, Chopper knob. Here's my pain boy. And I've got a PK knob with a slugger. I've got a big chopper knob with a combi scorcher. A slugger chopper knob with heavy armor. A big chopper knob with a twin link shooter. A big chopper knob with slugger. A big chopper knob with slugger and heavy armor. And a power claw knob with combi scorcher. Altogether, as it says, this unit comes in at 430 points. And of course, you can take transport options. Even foot slogging it across the board, these guys are going to take a lot of fire and they're going to live through it. Uh, the boss pole, I would consider another mandatory option uh, because they are still leadership 7, even being knobs. Which I think is one of the greatest tragedies in the Orc Codex. The knobs should have had leadership 8, uh, but that's neither here, here nor there. So, what are the two transport options for knobs? Well, one, of course, is the truck. Uh, you can, since they are maxed out of 10, you can give any of them, you can give them a truck, or you can give them a battle wagon, and you can take any options on the battle wagon except 
for the kill cannon. And of course, there is one more transport option for the orc knobs, which turns the orc knobs from an ordinary power unit to the ultimate cheese unit, and that is the war bike. That's right, knob bikers. These are my knob bikers. These are actually made to lead uh, bike squads, not so much to be a knob biker unit. But if you put them on a war bike, now they become toughness 5 against shooting. Of course, they're still toughness 4 for the instant death. But they become toughness 5. Uh, they have the built-in 4 plus armor save. They have the built-in orc bike 4 plus cover save. So no matter what, they always get a cover save. And, uh, of course, they have the speed, or the 24-inch turbo boost, the 12-inch movement. And in addition to their other saves, the 5 plus involve save and the feel no pain. And knot bikers, of course, are incredibly expensive. You're probably talking uh, upwards of 700 points for a full squad. Uh, but they're the uh, amount of power it they represent is just staggering. Uh, they're not as overpowered as they once were uh, because of the proliferation of melta weapons and uh, other strength 8 uh, weapons since so they become vulnerable to instant kill and they lose their feel no pain against that. But they're still incredibly effective and still one of the top units in the game. So, and so you're going to start building a knob unit. Where do you start? Well, if you want a cheap knob unit that's still very effective, you can build a five-model knob unit for a mere 200 points. For 200 points, you take one knob with a war banner. Take one knob, it's just stock, slug and chopper. You take your pain boy. Take one knob with a power claw. And lastly, one knob with a big chopper. No heavy armor, cyborg bodies, and s stick bombs. This comes in 200 points. And even at this, is still a very good unit to play with. This unit here that I played with in the OFCC assaulted and completely wiped out a uh, berserker unit, a full unit of uh, corn berserkers in a single assault phase. Didn't make them run away, just simply wiped them out to a model. So what are some of the... Let's see, let's take over some of the work here. The big Chopper, of course, gives you plus two strength, two-handed weapon. So you get three attacks, four on the charge, uh, strength six, strength seven on the charge. Add initiative, which means the knobs are, with their furious charge, they become initiative four on the charge. And that right there makes a big difference against almost every army, especially uh, MEQ armies. That initiative four is is utterly important. You know, initiative four, weapon skill five. Uh, Slugger chopper, even even on the charge. I mean, he's still strength five on the charge because of the, the furious charge, and he gets five attacks. Pain boy, pain boy is equipped with a poisoned weapon, a four plus poisoned weapon. So he'll get three attacks, four on the charge, at initiative. Weapon skill 5, wounding on 4s, and of course any model that's uh, equal or less toughness, you get a reroll. So on the charge, that's toughness 5 models, he'll get a reroll on the poisoned. That's just so good. So he, he will actually dish out quite a few wounds uh, just by himself. Big choppers are great for wounds uh, against a lot of things at initiative. There's really, you know, nothing bad to say about the knobs. So here we have, here we have your basic knob unit. From there, you can start expanding. So it just about wraps up the knobs. Knobs are are so good. It's it's hard not to play with them sometimes, uh, but they're they're almost too good. They're bordering on cheese, and and sometimes you just have to sit back and go, how did these guys make it in the codex?